Hi, my name is Dean and I'm an Adoption Officer here at RSPCA Burwood East. It's pretty safe to say that we all enjoy a good summer, but what we need to think about is how do our pets feel? What we're going to learn today is how to keep our cats cool this summer. Cats can become overheated in summer, resulting in dehydration, shallow breathing and possibly even heat stroke. What we need to take into consideration are additional factors. Easy cat inside, easy cat outside, and then we can progress from there. If your cat does go outside, it's really important to take a look at does my cat have current shade, does my cat have water, and a safe place to rest in. Cats that do have any white or ginger on them are classified as a skin cancerous due to light pigmentation, so they should be confined indoors during hot periods of the day. Different levels of pigmentation in a cat can also help reduce the risk of getting skin cancer when your cat goes into the sun. If your cat does have dark points, such as this one here, then they should be able to spend some time safely outside. Now, this is an example of a cat that should be kept indoors only. Due to her light pigmentation, it does make her at a risk of getting skin cancer when outside in the sun. So to keep her safe and happy, you can find her indoors and you'll have a long living cat. What we're now going to talk about is a few helpful tips how to keep your cat cool this summer. And it's so far. The first tip we're going to do is to keep your cat calm this summer. Try not to initiate too much play. An over energetic cat is obviously going to burn a lot more energy and suffer a lot more from dehydration and stress. Provide a cool place like we have down here, a little bit of shade, a little bit of comfort and you should have one happy cat. Now we all know that cats may not be the biggest fan of water, however on hot days there are some exceptions. So my second tip is how to cool a cat with a dampened towel. Basically, the general idea is wet your towel and gradually pat it along the cat's body, if he allows. Secondly, what you can do, dampen the towel, layer it on the ground like so. That way, if the cat pleases, he can go up and lay on the towel to cool themselves down. My third tip for how to keep your cat cool is to add a little bit of excitement into your cat's day. Frozen ice treats make a fantastic way to cool your cat and it gives a little bit of enrichment for those indoor cats on a hot day. Freeze a few ice blocks, scatter them around the house, that way your cat gets a cool sensation but also a fun little toy to play with. My fourth tip for how to cool down your cat this summer is utilise what you have in your house. Like us, cats love to keep cool, so you have an aircon on, fantastic. When you're not home, keep your curtains drawn so that the heat doesn't trap inside the house itself. Always make sure that you have plenty of fresh water around the house for your cat to drink and keep hydrated. As you can imagine, if we were a jumper every single day, we're bound to overheat. What we need to do is take special consideration for our longer feel like friends. My fifth tip for the day is groom your cat daily. As you can imagine, longer haired cats are going to be prone to getting mats if they're not getting groomed regularly. As a result, mats can trap heat inside the cat's body, resulting in dehydration, not only that, also then having an uncomfortable cat. Simple items such as this simple brush here, or one very similar to this, can help eliminate the mats in your cat's body and then you'll end up with a cooler, happier cat. As you can imagine, not all cats make it easy for themselves to be groomed. If you're having any difficulty at all handling or grooming your cat, please seek the services of a professional groomer. Here at RSPCA Abilities, we do have a brand new facility where our groomers know how to deal with all cats' with shapes, sizes and behaviours. So hopefully we have learned a few helpful tips how to keep your cat cool this summer. On hot days, please always look out for the symptoms of dehydration and heat stroke. If you are noticing any of these problems, please immediately take your cat to a vet to get medical treatment. 
Keep in mind, plenty of fresh water and a cool environment will always lead to one happy cat. I just don't know, know just what to do.